This morning's message is right out of the book of Revelation. Don't worry about it, Don. I want him to listen to the words so you don't have to get it up there. So we're going to read the scripture. We're going to meditate on it. And the one way we do that as we read the scripture, as someone is reading it publicly, is we turn our hearts inward and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us with the word of the living God. Okay? So we'll be reading chapter 1 of the book of Revelations. And I want you to hear what the revelation or the revelator was heard from the kingdom of God. And, and I want you to apply it to your life today. I want you to say as we're reading through this text, how does this apply and what difference does it make to me today? Okay? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants. Things which must shortly take place, and he sent and signified it by angel, his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that the, he saw. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep these things which are written in it for the time is near. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler over the kings of the earth. Hallelujah. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with with the clouds and every eye will see him and even they who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so. Amen. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Platmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardius, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven gold lampstands, and in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the feet, and girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in the furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, but he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Write the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will take place after this. In the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, and the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands which you saw are the seven. 
So a couple of highlights we want to cover here this morning. First, John says, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. That's wonderful. John says, peace. Whose peace? And grace. Next week, we'll talk a little bit about that grace. And then he says, to the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what kingdom, whether it's Russia, China, United States, Israel, Iran, Iraq, Syria. It doesn't matter. Palestine, the Lord is saying in Revelations, I am king over all of them. That's good news because it doesn't seem like any of them know him very often, but God is still on the throne. And then he says, To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. I didn't wash it. I didn't do it. He did it in me. In Romans chapter 4, which we'll talk about a little bit next week, he uses Isaiah, he uses Abraham as an example of of faith, and, and we'll get into it a little bit, but God did the work that needed to be done and has made us, who's us? Kings and priests to his God and Father. He washed us from our sins, he took care of us, and he has made us the priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever. Behold, he's coming in a cloud. And every eye will see him, and even who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. We'll close and we'll go to fellowship and eating our Thanksgiving dinner with the Word of God being broken to us today, letting the Holy Spirit speak to each of our lives with His Word. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is, who was, And who is to come? The Almighty. Who is, who was, and who is to come? The Almighty Father, we hear your word. What you planted in our lives. Lord, in the presence of the tribulation and trials, because of the suffering that we have been anointed and have been called to because of you and for you and in you, May you help us, Father, to remind ourselves of who you are. He is, he was, and he's coming. And we just need to be reminded as we go and fellowship and love one another and enjoy each other's company that it's all about you. As we break bread today and as we share in sweet fellowship that only God's people can do, we want to give you thanks and praise for the kingdom and its work that it's doing in our lives. Some of us are in different locations on the kingdom's road, but we are in it for you, and we ask you to change us and help us. And, Father God, as we've learned and studied in Romans, it's, it's outside of ourselves. <clears throat> you have to come in with your supernatural power and work in us. And we receive that today. In Jesus' name, amen. Read the book of Revelations if you like. The best way to read the book of Revelations, and I know we're living in the days, I know our teens are starting that study. The best way to read the book of Revelations is as, is as many, as less settings that you can. If you can read it in one setting, do it. But read it as quickly as you can the first time through to get the idea of what the scripture is teaching about Christ and his kingdom. Amen. And by the way, you just received a blessing today. That's what the Word of God said. That those who read and 
And, and this is a blessing. God gave us a blessing with his word. Do not go out today being discouraged because of where the world is. Hallelujah. He is, he was, and he's coming. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. He is coming. He's coming with his glorious presence. And all will see him. You will not need Fox News. You will not need CNN. Hallelujah. You will not need MSNBC or ABC. You, it says, all will see with their own eyes. The, the glorious appearing of the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Wow. Whew. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. I mean, come quickly. Come quickly.